Hello everyone, and thanks for visiting Bluebeam Back to Basics. Today we'll be talking about the use of subjects and labels with markups. For those of you I have not met personally, you can reach me at that phone number and email address, and we encourage you to visit our website where you can learn all about our Bluebeam training program. I'll start by creating a new file. This file is completely blank. The only thing I've changed in my profile is if I go to the markups list and slide it up, I have turned on the label column so that you can see label information in there. Let's place a couple of different type of markups and try to edit the labels. If I choose a line and draw a line, even though I've got the label field available, if I double click in that field, it's not going to let me do anything with it. If I draw a rectangle, I've got the same situation. I can't double click on it and modify the label field. If I select the markup and I go to properties, I can see here that under subject, there's no option for editing the label field. Now let's compare that to placing some measurement markups. I'll apply a scale to my document. I'll just use a default value of an eighth of an inch. And now I'll draw a length instead of a line markup. And when I do that, now I can go into the markup list and I can double click in that column and I can edit the label or I can go to the properties panel and I can edit the label there as well. If I place an area measurement, I've got that same capability. I can double click and edit it in the column or I can go to label and I can modify it in the properties panel. Now if we look at markup types within a toolbox, we have the same type of relationship. If I go look at my tool sets, I've got a tool set called interiors and it's got some measurement markups and it's got some standard markups that were captured with snapshot. If I modify the display from symbol to detail mode and slide this over, I can see the label field, but just like with the markup list, I can't double click in that field on a standard markup. I can double click in that field on a measurement markup and change that label there. I can even grab one of these markups and right click and say I want to create a count version of it. Now I can go down and I can double click and change the subject. Maybe I set that to chair and I double click in the label field and I can change it over there as well. Now why would we bother with editing the subject and the labels? What difference does it really make? If you ever reach that point where you're working with custom columns, you can establish a custom column that uses a specified subject and label combination so that as soon as you start to place one of these markups in your PDF, it will recognize that and automatically adjust any numeric values associated with that. Let me give you an example. If I go to my markup list, columns, and manage columns, under custom columns, I don't have any custom columns created, but I've done that in the past. So I'm going to import a set of custom columns I created a few days ago. Now I've got two different custom columns. I've got a column called flooring type, which is a choice column, and I've got a column called flooring cost, which is a formula. Let's look at flooring type. If I modify flooring type, I've identified four or five different flooring types. Notice they each have a subject. Even though you don't see the word label, item is the same thing. If the markup in your tool set has a combination of subject and label definitions that match the subject and item definitions in your custom columns, that relationship will be recognized and honored. Let's also look at flooring cost and the formula before we get out of custom columns. I've got a formula that says the flooring cost is the sum of the area multiplied by the flooring type and each flooring type 
has been assigned a value. Shag carpet costs a dollar a square foot. Berber, two dollars a square foot. Tile at a 45 degree angle is more expensive than a nine by nine tile and concrete is two and a half dollars per foot, which I've assigned when I created my custom column. So let's see it in action. If I go to my tool set and I choose my markup type with the proper subject and label combination, when I go and place it into my drawing, the system will automatically detect that those two match and it's already identified that shape as being shag carpet with appropriate dollar value multiplied by the area. If we choose Berber, do the same thing. It's detected that Berber is two dollars a square foot. We'll choose a nine by nine tile. It's detected that that's three dollars a square foot and so on. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful and you'll review the other videos available as well.